Hey friends, welcome to Soja Videos. My name is Joan and I'm taking a trip to Seattle and you guys are coming with me. So I'm actually from Vancouver and I feel like a lot of Vancouver people actually visit Seattle, whether it's for grocery shopping or just for a quick day trip. But it's actually been about 10 years since I've last visited Seattle. So me and my mom wanted to do a quick girls trip just to have a bit of a mini vacation. Okay, we just crossed the border and we're headed to Seattle now. Basically the plan is we're staying in Seattle for about three days, two nights. We're gonna try to hit all the touristy spots and sites and eat some good food and have some fun. Our first stop is Pike Place Market. When we got there, the market was super busy but really lively. We browsed around the shops, but I didn't actually end up getting anything. But I think my favorite part of the market was looking at the gorgeous fresh bouquets of flowers and getting to stretch my legs out after the two hour or so drive from Vancouver. We were planning on trying the clam chowder, but that line is literally so long. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, so maybe not that, but we're still gonna try to find food. There's a lot to look at. A lot. Yes. Shops, markets, stalls. Kind of crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> Moo. <Yeah. laughs> the clam chowder. Wow, that's really good. We also got a grilled salmon with green beans and the lemon. Oh, it smells good. Ready? Cheers. Mm. That is very, very good. It is so flaky. For lunch we explored the markets a bit more and it was a perfect way to walk off the delicious meal we just ate. Oh my god, these are so cute! Wow! Also, someone tell me why these washroom stalls had the shortest doors ever. Like, I'm 5'3", this should not be possible. And I guess you could say we visited the first Starbucks as well, but as you can see, this is all the footage I got from it because we didn't actually go inside. We basically finished looking around the market. So now we're headed onto the monorail. We're gonna head towards the Space Needle and maybe go visit a museum. What? <laughs> Why is this incline so bad? <laughs> we're walking around downtown to try and find something to drink. And the two things we're craving, which is a matcha chillo from Blends and an ice cap from Tim Hortons, cannot be got from the US because they're all Canadian brands. <laughs> Finally got something. <laughs> and now we're headed onto the monorail to get to the needle and to the museum. We actually weren't planning on visiting the actual needle itself and going up, but we did want to at least visit one of the museums nearby. Okay, we've decided to visit the Museum of Pop Culture. It was between that or the Glass Museum, but I would rather pay $30 to actually go learn something than just look at stuff. <laughs> so we got tickets and we're gonna head on inside. The first few exhibits we visited had a lot of emphasis on music. It was really cool to see some of the guitars, photos they had, and to check out this huge, huge instrument sculpture. Oh my gosh. Cardi B? <laughs> hey yo. She's a barb. <laughs> Did you 
The next exhibit we visited was about horror films. <gasps> <laughs> and while I actually don't like watching scary movies, I thought the stuff they had was pretty cool and actually really informative. They had iconic props and costumes from really big scary movies and I thought it was cool how the exhibit talked about why exactly we all like horror movies so much. Then we visited a science fiction themed exhibit and I just thought the space was super cool and how it fit the theme so well. And similar to the horror exhibit, it had a lot of iconic props and costumes from really good science fiction films. <laughs> it is so We then visited their fantasy exhibit and this is probably the genre I enjoy the most whether it be reading or watching movies and films so I thought this one was super cool. I'm an earth shaker. It's a companion. <laughs> Anyway, after fooling around, it was really cool to see some iconic things from fantasy franchises such as Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, and again the museum did a really good job at making this space very fantasy themed, which I thought was just really neat. <laughs> And the last exhibit we visited was an indie game exhibit and this exhibit was also one I was very excited to visit since I really really like indie games. Although the funny thing is I don't play them that often, I watch other people play them. But if anything this exhibit made me want to play them even more as it was basically just a bunch of demos for some popular or less well known indie games. So me and my mom just ended up playing a bunch of games over the span of 30 minutes. We literally spent the last like 15 minutes trying to pass the level, but we did it. We did it! We did it. <laughs> and with the museum about to close, we just decided to hang around the sound lab where there was a bunch of instruments that you could try out and sound equipment. <laughs> then we got kicked out because we didn't realize the museum was closing so soon, but we just took a short stroll in the nice weather around Seattle Center. And now we're headed to get some Mexican food and that'll be our dinner for today. Dude, they were so nice. They gave us an extra little thing. I'm so excited. This looks so good. So it is now evening time. We are actually staying at a family friend's place. So that's where we are right now. And that's basically it for day 
one of Seattle.